definitely not. Um, you know, in so many ways, uh, disappointing. It's certainly, it's certainly not the result we wanted. Um, uh, you know, uh, we, we could go through it and dissect it in, in every possible way. Uh, the, the, the result, obviously, not winning is very disappointing. Um, the fact that, you know, we were up, you know, by a few goals, uh, eight, five at one point, and to give up three goals, you know, one goal we gave up on the sixth attacker, uh, very difficult, you know. Uh, that, that makes it tough in itself because all the things we've worked on in the last few weeks, you know, we get caught a little bit. You know, you, you, you have to look at the other team and you say, do they deserve everything? You know, maybe some of the things, but I would say that we probably could have avoided some things and and did a little bit better with the discipline. Uh, so, so those are the things. And and you know, when you look at the score line, uh, a nine-eight score, we were in the game up until you know overtime. And I feel in the last uh, since I've actually been with the team in in uh, seven games has probably been. I, I feel that our less or least disciplined game, and yeah, we created so many chances and scored eight goals. So you know, there's some positives to take out of it. Uh, so we have to we have to focus on that, but we've also got to work on not giving up the goals that I felt that we could have done better with. You know, so that you have to look at. You know, there are positives and there's negatives. You know, can we? change that tomorrow night because we get 24 hours or less than 24 hours to make that happen so uh, that's some of the things that we talked about with the players and you know I was annoyed you know and, and uh, I was annoyed because they had did so well to get in the lead and then just to blow it away and that's why I wanted to let them know I was annoyed because of that that they're better than what we what we showed and just by giving it away. We, we've started preparing for the game tomorrow night as soon as the whistle blew. Uh, I, I certainly did and I started preparing the players in, in the way of how they need to, you know, uh, act, be ready, you know, for the game tomorrow night. From a psychological standpoint, it's always tough when you come off a loss. It's tough when you come off a loss at home. It's tough when you come off a loss in overtime. And it's tough when you lose two games in overtime, one in a shootout, two games in a row. So the, the, there's, you know, I'm, I'm talking about that there's so many things that we're so close with. But if you don't win, it's not good enough. And so we have to convert that. And tomorrow night, Baltimore won't be forgiving on, on how we lost. So we have to be up and ready for the game. And I think this will be a big test for the players. Uh, to, to bounce back from so I think in the locker room you know judging by you know the attitudes of the players that they're ready for the game so we'll see we'll see with that test uh, you know if they can stand up to that test Oh, obviously it's, it's great you know I don't like saying old faces it's old or, or shouldn't say familiar faces of the past uh, it was certainly nice to see a lot of the uh, you know people that uh, you know maybe were fans years ago still fans and uh, you're getting to see them for the first time in years so a little bit of uh, nostalgia there and, and uh, certainly uh, you know meeting up with some of my former teammates and former coaches is certainly great because it just brings back great memories uh, obviously, you know, w you know, as a coach here in the ambush, I, w I want the, the, the players and I want our players to show, you know, these guys that are coming, you know, that they know how to play and they care about the game and do well. So, you know, that's a big part of it too, you know, so we, we, we definitely want to put a show on uh, for our fans, but again, especially for these people coming back so that, you know, the, the memories that we had back in, in, in our time, you know, and, and that that continues and it continues to grow here.